Day one of the trial in the CPC's petition did not disappoint as it brought out the expected legal fireworks from some of the best legal brains in the country as had been anticipated. But contrary to reportage in some circles, the panel of justices handling the petition remained largely unchanged, with only the presiding justice changing to Justice Kumai Akas. After setting the stage for the hearing, the CPC petitioners rolled out their witnesses, starting from the party's secretary, Buba Galajima. He was followed by the chairman of the party, Prince Tony Momo. And just as he was concluding his evidence, a mix-up was discovered in the evidences adopted in court and that which was concluded. Respondents' councils latched on the mix-up and opposed the application of the CPC council, Abubakar Malami Asayen, to make amends. The court ruled in their favor and struck off Prince Tony Momo's evidence from the records, forcing the petitioners to seek for an adjournment. Significant as the happening on day one of the CPC petition trial has been, councils are careful not to draw conclusions. They say there's still a world of scrutiny to be done in the petition. So the chairman of the party is just like any other witness, and then his um, uh, arising from the mix of we decided to withdraw him technically. That is a technical strategy for the purpose of prosecution of the election petition matter. It's a human error. Nobody's above error. We are all human beings. And I think if you, it if was if a fatal one. The court said it is not curable. The court said they could not do anything to correct what they call the mix up. We opposed it because uh, it. The application has no precedent in law. Femi Okewu, NTN News.